Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. This is Amanullah. You are watching my YouTube channel, Dr. Aman's video. Dear viewer, today we will discuss two types of media. One is transport media used for the transport of specimen from the hospital to the laboratory. And the other type of media which we are going to discuss in this lecture is the anaerobic media. So, here we will discuss two important media from each, from each group two from transport media and two from anaerobic media. So, starting with transport medium as the name indicate transport medias are used for the transportation of specimen from healthcare facility to the laboratory for microbiological or for bacterial culture and sensitivity. When we need transport media we need transport media when there is indispensable or inevitable delay in the collection between the collection and processing of uh, specimen for bacterial culture. In that situation, we need transport media. Why we need transport media? Because transport media preserve the viability of possible bacterial pathogen present inside the specimen. So, first it preserves the viability and second it also prevent the overgrowth of common cell if present inside the specimen. So, transport media perform two function. First, it preserve the viability of the possible pathogen and secondly, it prevent the overgrowth of the common cell if present in the specimen. So, in transport media, usually it contain transport media contain buffer and salt. We do not add buffer and salt. We do not add any growth factor like carbon, nitrogen or other organic growth factor because we only want to preserve the viability of the possible pathogen and we want to prevent the multiplication. Therefore, we do not provide the growth factor to prevent the multiplication of the bacteria in the specimen. So, in short, the primary objective of the transport media is to preserve the specimen as near to its original state as possible. Now, there are different transport media. I am sorry, my duster the ground. So, there are different transport media which are required for different specimen. But the choice of transport medium depend on the specimen or depend on the possible pathogen present in the specimen. So, there are two important transport media which are commonly used. We will discuss here in this lecture. One is carry and Blair medium. Carry and Blair medium is a transport medium which is used for the transportation of fecal specimen when there whenever we have a delay in transportation of the feces. Why we use Kerry and Blair media for the transportation of feces? Because Kerry and Blair media is a semi-solid medium and this medium has the ability to preserve the viability of all enteric pathogen like Salmonella, Shigella, E. coli O157 H7 and Campylobacter. So, all the fecal pathogen can be preserved by transporting the fecal specimen in care in Kerry and Blair medium. How we inoculate this carry and Blair uh, medium? It is very easy. We take a cotton swab which is provided with the carry Blair medium or if it is not provided then you can take a sterile cotton swab and then you can touch the most suitable part of the feces and then you can enter into the semi-solid medium present in the test tube or small bottle 
uh, the, then you can put that cotton swab into that medium and then you break the stick and screw cap the bottle or test tube in order to preserve the fecal specimen for transportation. The second common media which is used for transportation is the Ames media. Ames media, I am sorry agar mein, if I am doing uh, some mistake in spelling, so please do careful about this. Ames media, Ames media is the second common media which is used for the transportation of swab specimen from different anatomical site. Again, Ames media is a semi-solid medium which is used for the transportation of the different specimen taken by swabs which include throat swab, sputum, sorry, throat swab, nasopharyngeal swab, vaginal swab and you can also transport specimen like pus, sputum with the help of this AMS media. How do we transport pus or sputum? Again we will transport with the help of a cotton swab, we will take the we will take the representative specimen from the pus or the sputum and we will put into the AMS media. So, we AMS media has the ability to preserve the commonly isolated pathogen in these specimens like uh, in, vagina, in case of vaginal specimen it has the ability to preserve the viability of the gonococci. In case of sputum, it has the ability to preserve the viability of streptococcus pneumoniae, Haemophilus influenza and it can preserve the viability of the common pathogen isolated from throat, pus and nasopharyngeal swab. So, I hope that these two medias would be sufficient for today lecture. Now, I am going to start with the anaerobic media another group anaerobic media as the name indicate anaerobic media are the media which are used for the cultivation of anaerobic pathogen we know that anaerobic pathogen are those pathogen which need absence of oxygen for their growth they are known as anaerobic pathogen. So, conventionally when it was grown, so it was grown in anaerobic media. Anaerobic media are those media which provide anaerobic condition. You do not need anaerobic incubation for these media. These media can be incubated under aerobic condition because these media provide an aerobic condition in itself. Therefore, these media are known as an anaerobic media. Conventionally, these are there are two common media which are used for this person. The most important is Robertson cooked meat medium, which is the first anaerobic media used for the growth of anaerobic bacteria Robertson cook meat medium. Robertson cook meat medium is a medium which is made up of the cooked meat particle, but the origin of the meat is the ox heart which is fat free. The origin of the meat is ox heart which is fat free. So, we prepare medium from the meat of the ox heart and this media provide anaerobic condition in a test tube. How it provide? Because it is broth, it is liquid in nature. So, we prepare in a test tube cooked meat particles or the mince particle of the ox hearts are added with other growth nutrient. Now, the anaerobic condition or the anaerobiasis is actually created by these meat particle because the fatty acid and other compounds like gluconate present in the meat utilize 
oxygen and therefore, utilize the molecular oxygen therefore, the deep area of this media contain an aerobic environment which is suitable for the growth of anaerobic bacteria. Cook meat medium or Robertson cook meat medium is suitable for the growth of all type of bacteria like aerobic bacteria, micro aerophilic bacteria, but the most important or interesting thing that it can also grow the anaerobic bacteria because of the creation of the anaerobic environment in the deep area of the test tube because of the presence of the ox heart meat. Most importantly, cook, Robertson cooked meat medium is suitable for the Clostridium, for the different species of the Clostridium like Clostridium perfringens, Clostridium tetanus, but you can grow number of anaerobe in this medium. And the one important thing that Robertson cooked meat medium is the FDA approved for the isolation of Clostridium perfringens, which is the most common cause of the food poisoning for the isolation of the Clostridium perfringens from the food specimen. Now, another media which is anaerobic in nature that was, that is, that was conventionally used for the isolation of anaerobic organism is the thioglycolate broth. Glycolate broth. I am sorry if I am doing mistake in the spelling, I do not know why, but I am not very good in the spelling. So, thioglycolate broth, again thioglycolate broth is a medium which create anaerobic condition into the deep area of the test tube or the bottle which contain this media. How? Because this thioglycolate is actually ability and it reduce the molecular oxygen present in the medium. Therefore, after reduction of the molecular oxygen anaerobic environment is created and this thioglycolate broth can be used for the growth of anaerobic bacterial pathogen. I hope this is sufficient uh, though these are superficial information about the anaerobic media, but this is sufficient because it was an introduction to the anaerobic media. I hope it would be a good piece of information for you guys. Therefore, I request you to please subscribe my YouTube channel Dr. Aman's video and also try to hit bell icon in order to get notification for my upcoming video. Thank you so much for watching my YouTube channel. Fee Amanillah.